Hey, what's going on guys? How are we doing today? Hope we're all doing well, remaining active and healthy. I shit. It feels really good right now. I just ate myself a vegetarian burrito. I would say vegan burrito was the same thing. <laughs> yeah, no no um no animal products or cheese or cream or anything like that. All plant based. And guys, that thing was bomb. That thing was bomb. It had some brown rice, um, some, I want to try a black, I mean, I'm pretty sure I've tried black beans before, but I just, I don't recall, so, yeah, I, to try black, black beans with, um, well, what is it called? Like, there's a sauce, it has, like, onion, tomato, like, green, green pepper, um, I forgot what it's called, but they have it, like, in Pueblo Loco and, and things like that, and yeah, in Chipotle, they have it as well, so I got some of that um, with some salad, and what else? What else was in there? Purple onion. Um, what else? Oh, forgetting the veggies, but there were like two more veggies that I don't. I'm not sure of the name of it, but yeah, guys, it was it was delicious. It was good. And yeah, it's for my lunch if I haven't said it already, which is gonna end in about 15 minutes or so. So yeah, and I was gonna grab myself a bowl like I did yesterday, but I was like, no, you know what? I want to try something new. So yeah, that's exactly what I did. I got a a burrito, and it's basically like the same thing that that I had in it yesterday. Well, except with the pinto beans, there were black beans. So yeah, that was the only difference. <laughs> yeah. And today when I woke up, I wanted to go to the park to get some fresh air, be out with nature, but. I was tired, <laughs> I'm not going to lie, I was tired. When I came out around like 11, I got home around like 11.40 or so, 11.30. And yeah, I just, I washed my face, brushed my teeth, uh, meditated before I, I actually went to bed. And yeah, I had a whole lot of dreams, <laughs> nothing new. Thanks, all thanks to the to my angelic guides, of course. Ashe for showing me um what i'm really focusing on and yeah just things that i i need to work on more and that that's exactly what what dreams are for for the most part um it shows you like say if you're worrying about or think worrying or thinking about something too much and throughout the day that dream will like physically have you there in that event or whatever in that situation or whatever you're thinking about and it has you there for you to play out what you would actually do there. You get me? It's crazy. So say if say if um say if you want to stop like smoking, right? Or drinking or doing drugs in general. Like okay, I'm not gonna do that anymore. And then but you keep on thinking about it, like if you keep on saying I'm not gonna do it anymore, I'm not gonna do it anymore. If you keep on saying that, it really puts you into the test because you may have a dream of you with your friends, like I did. I told myself, you know what? I'm just not going to smoke anymore. Um, and I'm going to see how it benefits me. So yeah, that's exactly what I did. I told myself, I'm I'm, I'm not going to do this anymore. And <laughs> guys, I tell you not, the same day I had a dream about me in a hotel. And um, oh, that same dream, it was about women as well too. I was like, you know what? I'm not going to just like, I'm not going to be focusing on like, on, on women. You get me? I'm going to just do me. Like when I'm ready, I'll, I'll I'll find the one. Me and the one will, will connect. You get me? So yeah, I told myself like, no, it's okay. Like, I don't need this or I don't need that. I just need myself. <laughs> I just need myself. And yeah, the same day I told myself those two things. Later on that day, I was in the hotel. I was in hotel, right? Um, in the dream. And then I remember we're next to a window, like, uh, yeah, next to a window. And then my friends like, hey man, like I don't have a I don't have a battery. You have an extra bat? And then I was like, oh yeah, yeah, I do. Oh, that burrito. A battery, right? Like a cartridge. You know the cartridge that you smoke? The wax? The pens or whatever you, we call them? <coughs> Woo, that burrito. <laughs> so yeah, they're like, oh, do you, have a, do you have a battery? I was like, oh yeah, yeah, I do. And then I took it out of my pocket, right? And they're like, oh, all right, cool. So they, they like... They screwed it together, and then once it did that, they're like, they took a hit, 
and then after they're like oh here you go and before i like m kind of not before but like even when he told me if i had a battery even when i when i said yeah i was processing in my head like oh i told myself i wasn't gonna do this anymore like am i really gonna do this right now that's exactly what it was like i told myself like i just i yeah i told myself i wasn't gonna do this anymore in the waking state you get me in the physical state so in the dream i still had that thought like no I still had that same cycle saying, no, like, I told myself I wasn't going to do it. And as I got it, I, I was thinking about it. And then something else, um, I guess he was like, oh, something about girls. Because I remember there was, like, da going down the hall, there was a whole bunch of, of women. And then, yeah, like, you can say I got distracted, so I just put it away. And then I, and then out of nowhere, like, I remember myself being, like, in a stall. Yeah, like, it was weird because it wasn't, like, it was like the same size, you know, the, the the normal size of the stalls in the restroom where the toilets go. I was like right there, but I was sitting down, but I wasn't on a toilet. That's the thing. Like, I'm not sure what I was on. I didn't put too much focus into that. But yeah, I just, I was aware that I was, I was there and that there were, there were women outside of where I was at. And yeah, they were just saying, like, oh, like, is Brian there? Like, oh, he's inside. He's inside. I kept hearing women, different, different voices of girls, like, saying my name and stuff like oh where i was at and then i was weird because i told myself oh i told myself i'm not gonna like you know i'm not gonna put my focus into girls and yeah that's that's the thing when i told myself that i i didn't i didn't like put um i didn't put any focus on them in the dream so that was testing me to see if i'm if i was if i'm true to my word if i was true to my word and that's what dreams do dreams are nightmares nightmares have you face the fears that you think you can't get you, you can't overcome and dreams test you to see if you really change or not if you're really um transforming evolving for the better and yeah guys those those two things are a blessing for us to experience and remember when we wake up it truly is it's it's, it's really cool it is funny because i'm outside the parking lot and there are, like people passing by looking at me and stuff but it's all good <laughs> so yeah I, I wanted to go to the park today but i woke up like i i mean because i have my phone off for most of the time or if not it's just in my closet like 10 like around eight feet away from me on my bed like from my bed so yeah i don't really know the time when i wake up um so yeah i wasn't i'm not sure what time exactly i woke up but i just know i woke up pretty early because like I wake, I woke up. I was thinking about some dreams I remember, and then, um, yeah, I was just like, I didn't really want to get up. I was just, I was just thinking about them. I was chilling. I was being a, a bit tired from last night, from work, and yeah, when I decided to get up, it was like twelve. It was like eleven forty, eleven fifty or so, and I go in at two. So I was like, when I checked the time, it took me like thirty minutes or so to check my phone around there. And yeah, when I checked the time, I was like, "What? Well, it's already, it's already like twelve twenty, twelve thirty, and I still haven't ate in." <sighs> Woo, that burrito was bomb. I still haven't ate. For the most part, I still haven't done the things I usually do, like get my stretches in, and go out in nature, of course, doing things like that. So I noticed, I was like, "Okay, then it's okay." I know to get up earlier next time. And yeah, I basically just ate oatmeal with some banana and like a bread my dad brought that I guess a customer I, had, um, I gave him because he has a lot of, he's a mechanic and a lot of customers usually give him, give him like, um, like different types of, um, foods or, oh yeah, just anything in general. So he had brought like, um, a pretty big, like bread that like divided into pieces and it was full of like like raisins some type of raisins and like coconut and it was pretty good i mixed that with the oatmeal and the banana I drink a little bit of al almond milk with it on sweden of course the vanilla <laughs> i like vanilla or the original sweden either one but yeah the the almond milk the sweden one i just i don't like it i just i don't know i just don't like it for some reason um but yeah i ate that and then yeah i had i had um to work i started heading to work around like 115 120 yeah that was pretty cool 
So yeah, my day's been pretty chill. If I may say. <laughs> um, what, what were you guys up to today? What'd you guys do? Did you guys go out and enjoy yourself? Or enjoy yourself in general? Maybe stay, stayed home, playing some instruments, reading that book you find fascinating? Yeah, basically like listening to music that just pumps you up. You're probably working out to it. Mm. Getting those push-ups in. Getting that plank. Getting that plank in. You guys know what I'm talking about. But yeah, with that being said, remain healthy and active. I'm blessed and guided through this wonderful life. Ashe, ashe, ashe. I'll speak to you guys later. Peace out, guys.